Well, it's been quite a while since we had an update on this car. And I figured I'd give an update, which there really isn't much to give here, let's be honest. But, I figured I'd at least reintroduce the idea. Um, as well as, you know, for anybody that's just kind of coming around to the channel. I know we've had a little bit of growth lately, and maybe some people are like, Oh, I didn't know you had this. What the heck is this thing? Okay. Well, this is a 1966 Belvedere II. Um, and this was going to be kind of a street freak, uh, kind of race car sort of thing. Um, and that still, that still is uh, kind of the plan possibility with the car. So we want to get back to work on it sometime in the next, oh, I'd say about a month. But there's a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I just did a couple update videos recently on a bunch of other projects, so definitely consider checking that out. Um, I need to do a little bit more finish welding, and I really need to get this thing pushed back inside before it rusts any further. Um, but this car, for those of you that, like I said, haven't seen it or are new to the channel or whatever, um, very, 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 very solid car. There's hardly any rust on it. There's one tiny little hole right there, a couple tiny little holes in the floor, and I already t I already fixed the rust there. So, um, yeah, it's just it's just a couple little rust things left, and then getting as much of the paint and everything stripped off as possible, and then getting it at least in primer. Uh, the big thing is the engine bay. The engine bay has been the big thing that has slowed me down for a long time. So that is uh, kind of something I need to focus a little bit more on, I guess you could say. Because once the engine bay is done, and I'm, as some of you are probably going to get a little deja vu here, like, huh, I've heard him say this before. Yes, you have. Once the engine bay is done, then I can get the engine bay painted, I can get it all cleaned up, I can start uh, getting the brake lines, all that figured out, and I can start working on all the under the hood stuff. And then I can build the engine. Um, what's the engine? Well, that's kind of a whole nother story, but it will be a Tunnel Ram 440. That's the most basic way I can say it. It's a Tunnel Ram 440 got a pair of 660s on the tunnel ram and I've got more than enough stuff to put together a, a real healthy should be near 500 horsepower uh, 440 for the car so and that's gonna be fun but the biggest challenge with that is I am NOT hacking up the rear wheel wells a lot of guys with these 66s and 67s and it's really a necessity actually but in order to fit any kind of a decent tire underneath it, you have to move a spring perch or uh, open up the wheel wells or tub it or something. Okay, well, I don't really want to do that. So, the biggest thing is I could put as much power and everything as I want right there, but right there is not going to hold it. So, we'll see, we'll see how things go. Um, that's honestly the biggest downfall of this car is the, uh, the rear tire space limitations as well as just some people don't like these cars. I do, um, and this car has some history, not this car directly, but a 66 Belvedere does have some history within my family that was a big thing as far as why I got the car. Um, quick little recap. For people who don't know, it's not a real long story, but uh, my grandpa bought a 66 Belvedere that was a former uh, race car, drag car. It was white and it had bluish, or I think it's supposed to be blue, letters on the quarter that said Cheap Thrill. And that's, that's what the car was. It was supposed to be a fast, cheap, fun little thing. And that's exactly what it was. Um, he didn't have it for all that long. He tried to daily drive it and all that, and it had 456 gears and a 440 in it that was pretty close to stock, a little, a little bit beyond stock, but not, not much. Um, 
So this is basically going to be the, the kind of, lack of a better way to say it, the hopped up version of that car. So, I'm going to repaint it white. I'm going to do some sort of graphic on that or maybe on the roof or somewhere. And it's just going to be a fun, fun little thing. So, we'll see how it goes. But uh, just want to give another little update on this car. A lot of people probably wonder you know hey I, I you know I jump around to a lot of different projects all the time and they get kind of lost in the shuffle and just want to give a an update on, on this one so not much has changed but we will get back to work hopefully within the near future but anyways just want to give an update and definitely consider liking subscribing all that other fun stuff helps the channel grow and I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.